Then a sports center, we go over a college football game preview and prediction on the 2023 Cotton Bowl match in between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Missouri Tigers. Two teams that have had great seasons getting to this point. You got Missouri 10-2 on the season, one of the surprise teams of the year in Mizzou. Don't think many expected this team to be in the New Year's Six back in the preseason, but it's much deserved. And here we are as they take on Ohio State, a team that went 11-1 this season, but this is still one of the most dominant and brutal teams to beat in the country. Strong matchup for both teams. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with their team trends. Ohio State lost to Michigan 24-30 to finish out the regular season. So another tough loss there for Ohio State uh, to Michigan, but I still feel like this is a team that could be worthy of being in the college football playoff. I mean, all around, I mean, they maybe don't have the same strength at the quarterback position than they have in the past, but all around, you look at the defense especially, that's really where the Buckeyes have shined this season. And if the 12-team playoff started this season, I really feel like Ohio State would be pretty dangerous in it. Uh, they just haven't been able to get past Michigan in a recent time. But as for Mizzou, they beat Arkansas 48-14. to uh, This is a team that went 10-2 and this season. They lost to... LSU back in early October and also to Georgia in early November, but I still feel like this is a team, despite starting 5-0, and that only got better over the course of the season. You look at their last three games, they blew out Tennessee 36-7, they beat Florida, and then beat Arkansas 48-14. So for Mizzou, 10-2, ranked ninth in the country, very much deserving of it. This is a really strong team this season. Gets me on Friday the 29th in Arlington. Kickoff is 8 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going to Ohio State by half a point. This is something that you rarely see. I mean, this is really as close to a coin toss as you get with picking a game. Over-unders 48 and a half. And the FBI is going to Ohio State 75%. I don't know why the FBI is going so heavily on Ohio State here. I mean, I get the Buckeyes are a talented team, but it should be a lot closer than that. Your bowl history for both teams, Ohio State 27 and 28 overall. They obviously were in the college football playoff last season where they lost to Georgia, then the Rose Bowl the year before that, and the national title game back in 2020. But something that's interesting about Ohio State, this team has been in a New Year's Six Bowl game every year since 2012. 2012 was the last time this team wasn't in a New Year's Six Bowl game. That's a long time of sustained success for Ohio State. And you look at the last time before that, they were in the Gator Bowl back in 2011. But before that, it would have been 2004. So, I mean, this is, once again, a program with sustained success over a long time. But as for Missouri, 15-20 and 20 overall, this team was in the Gasparil Bowl last season where they lost to Wake Forest, Armed Forces Bowl the year before that, and then Liberty Bowl back in 2018. So, uh, this team is just now starting to pick up some good momentum and uh, the last time this team was in a New Year's Six Bowl game was uh, back in 2014, which would have also been the Cotton Bowl. Your stat comparison, Ohio State, 23rd in points per game, second in points allowed. Once again, a really strong defensive team here in Ohio State. That's really where this team shines most. 28th in passers game, 74th in rush yards. And then uh, this is the top-ranked pass defense in the country, which is an interesting matchup because you got Missouri with Brady Cook, who's been – a really strong passing team this season, 26th in the country in pass yards a game, but obviously going up against Ohio State, an elite defense uh, that is obviously brutal to score on as they're also 23rd in rush defense. But as for Mizzou, this team is stronger offensively than you could say on defense. They're 18th in points per game, 26th in pass yards a game, 52nd in rush yards. You got Cody Schrader, though, who's had a great season, nearly 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns. Obviously, got to give him a lot of credit. I feel like he hasn't gotten as much attention as he deserves, but he's definitely been impressive for this team. I would expect him to get a lot of attention in this matchup. And obviously, for uh, Mizzou, they're stronger defending than the, the rush than the pass, which is obviously something of slight concern because they're going up against Marvin Harrison, who obviously ended up being one of the true Heisman contenders this season. But your recent matchups, Wyoming State lost to Michigan by six, beat Minnesota 37-3, to beat Michigan State 38-3. to So you can see the dominance that Ohio State had down the stretch. They obviously had that loss to Michigan, but before that they had a huge win over Notre Dame, also beat Penn State at home by eight. So, and I mean, both of those games were really defensive and low scoring. So, that is something to keep in mind. When Ohio State wins a big game, it tends to be more of a lower-scoring matchup. But as for Missouri, beat Arkansas 48-14, beat Florida by two, beat Tennessee 36-7. That Tennessee win in particular is just insane to me. Tennessee is a – they're a good football team, and Missouri made it look easy, completely shut them down 36-7. to 
And obviously the week before that, they lost to Georgia by nine, but they hung in there on the road in Athens against a really good Georgia team that just so happened to lose in the SEC title game. Otherwise, Georgia uh, probably would be maybe the favorite for the college football playoff. In fact, I would say they definitely would be. But yeah, for Mizzou, really successful season. Start out 5-0, and lost LSU by 10, lost to Georgia by 9, but otherwise a really impressive season. If you're key points, Ohio State 11-1, Kyle McCord is gone. That is something to keep in mind. Uh, he's off to Syracuse, which is uh, definitely an interesting move. But for Ohio State, that means Devin Brown is in at quarterback. So uh, we'll get to see this offense with a different quarterback under center, which might not be a bad thing. I'm interested to see how Brown can... Now look under center, especially in a big game. But this is a dominant team that is especially brutal on defense. That's really where this team shines most. So that's worth keeping in mind. And obviously, this is a time for Marvin Harrison to shine as well. Missouri's a team that is good at defending the pass, but they can't do it at a very high level. So for Marvin Harrison, I'd expect him to get a lot of attention in this matchup. Obviously, being a guy that's been incredible at the position this season, there's a reason why he was a Heisman finalist. And for Missouri... This team start out hot, never looked back. That was something in the offseason for Mizzou. I figured this team was going to start the season hot. I think I predicted a 5-0 start like they did. Um, but then I had them losing to LSU as they also did. But I didn't think they were still going to sustain success, which has been really impressive for Mizzou this season. They finished out 10-2. Really successful season for this team. I feel like the future is bright for the Tigers. And obviously the SEC only getting tougher with Texas and Oklahoma coming in. Uh, the SEC is a challenging conference, but Mizzou really found a way this season. So, And obviously, Brady Cook emerging as a standout quarterback has been huge. And it's really about this offense, too. If they can find a way to put up some points. Ohio State's offense is good this season, but it is manageable. I wouldn't say it's like unstoppable like a couple of years ago when this team had Jackson Smith and Jigba and Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave all in the same receiving core. Just insane to think about that. And all three of them are already successful in the NFL. But... Uh, but for Mizzou, if they can score points, they really they have a chance because, I mean, this Ohio State offense is once again manageable. Uh, but it's it's going to be really tough for Mizzou to score points. you got Ohio State, this defense, who's been so brutal all season. Really, the one time where this Ohio State defense was questionable was against Michigan. Uh, but Michigan's also a really strong offense, and they, they didn't even allow that many points. They allowed 30 in that game. But with that, let's get a prediction here for Ohio State and Mizzou coming up here in the Cotton Bowl and in the end. Really interesting matchup on both sides, but I'm going with Ohio State. 27 to 20 is my predicted final score. I feel like the Buckeyes defense is going to find a way here. I think Missouri is going to put up some points and at least give themselves a chance. But in the end, I also think Devin Brown being in there. I mean, this is his first start at quarterback for Ohio State. I feel like he's going to uh, shine as well. I mean, Kyle McCord was a good quarterback this season. He wasn't to the same level though as some quarterbacks in Ohio State's recent past but I think Devin Brown plays well I think Ohio State's offense gets it done Marvin Harrison has a big game and Ohio State gets the win by a touchdown so I'm gonna say 55 percent towards Ohio State I'm taking the under for this one just because for Ohio State whenever they win a big game tends to be pretty low scoring you look at the Penn State game the Notre Dame game game obviously this is different with Mizzou being a stronger offense uh, so I do think Missouri puts up 20. We do see 47 points here, but that still does take the under. And I've got Ohio State covering the spread in the end. But with that, let me know your thoughts and comments below on this matchup, your score predictions, all of that. My name's Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.